Alright, so I'm going to show the steps necessary to improve performance in Persona 5 RHEL for PC. Now, I'm demonstrating with the Game Pass version, but I am positive that this should work with the Steam version as well. Okay, so as we can see here, we're in Razer Cortex. Uh, I just use this usually as a rule of thumb for gaming, uh, because I use stuff like Unreal Engine and other RAM and CPU heavy applications, so I usually just run this anyways. Uh, here are what my settings are, uh, if you would like to copy them. The next thing you want to do is you want to go into NVIDIA Control Panel. This is where the most effective things will be happening. So you want to go to Program Settings. Now, you have to have already launched the game once. So basically when you go in here, you'll see, uh, or actually you want to click Add. Uh, now I've already added it, so it's not going to appear, but basically yeah, you'll see Persona 5 Royal, you click on that, you'll get SIG of America Inc. and all of this other bullshit here. So you select that. Now the settings that I'm using are uh, as follows. Uh, pretty much everything on default. You want to make sure your CUDA GPU is your NVIDIA graphics. Uh, I am using multi-frame sampled anti-aliasing just to make the game look better. Uh, OpenGL Runner GPU, I'm using a 2070, so that's that. Uh, everything else is pretty much default. This setting right here, threaded optimization, this is the setting that's going to make the most difference. You want that turned on, and everything else is default. So I'm going to show what the game looks like with these settings turned on in just a second. Enjoy the footage, and make a judgment for yourself. One thing I forgot to mention that also may help performance is in your Persona 5 Royal Content folder, this is what it looks like on Game Pass, uh, in Steam it'll just be in your Steam Apps Content folder, you want to disable full screen optimizations. Alright, so this is what the gameplay looks like with the settings previously applied. So as you'll see, there are still some dips, but overall the performance is pretty solid. Even in the more demanding areas like the subway, Central Street, Shibuya, and all of that stuff. Yeah, as you can see here, these are my settings. I usually play with 125% resolution scale, but I've turned that back to 100 just for the purpose of measuring performance in this video. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you'd like to continue watching, uh, please enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and, and I hope you all look forward to the next video.